Stefan, great to see you again. And before we get started, mom says hi. You met her at 21 Bridges. How you doing, my friend? Oh, man. Send mom my love, man. I, I, it's good to see you, Dave. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. And we've got to talk about this incredible role. Um, and I'm going to start with this question, okay? I'm a sports fan. I'm a sports junkie. I was watching football all day yesterday. But this particular film, while it deals with a sports theme, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on the record right now. It's not an entire sports movie. Am I correct when I say that? I think this film is 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 definitely bigger than just sports, for sure. I think you're right to say that. What impact does a, a, a role like this have on you? Uh, do you find it inspiring? It's funny, while not a true story, these conversations are actually happening right now. I mean, this yeah. is happening. So I want to know, do you how, how do you find this inspiring, this particular role? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's incredibly timely. Obviously, the story, right, and and and, and topical, and and. Um, so it's an incredible thing to, to be a part of art that, um, you know, speaks so much to society and to culture, you know, at the current time. Um, but, you know, I think it, of course, it's inspiring to, to uh, you know, to be the vessel to, to tell a story like this. I mean, you know, for, for LaMarcus, this, you know, wildly talented uh, young athlete, for him to be able to, you know, uh, you know, take on the burden that is, uh, you know, the NCAA, you know, in, in this sort of, you know, David versus Goliath type type of thing. Um, you know, it's really special to see. And so, you know, for me, I, I knew this guy was going to have to be a guy that came with a lot of poise, you know, head on his shoulders, um, you know, someone who could wrap his head around not only, you know, his fame and his relevancy and popularity, um, you know, on the field, but, you know, could understand how that could in turn, you um, um, you know, provide a platform for him to speak about things off of the field. And so uh, for me, I think that was the most exciting thing, I think, about being a part of a story like this. And, and, and of course, to do it with this cast, um, you know, I, I've been incredibly, incredibly um, lucky to be a part of it. You filmed uh, in a, one of my favorite cities in the world, down the street from here, us, here, in, us in, here in Houston, Texas, New Orleans. Yeah. Uh, and, and I want to talk about the bubble that was created, obviously, because of the pandemic. You were in a hotel next yeah. to the Superdome. Yeah. Tell me what that was like. First of all, New Orleans is great. There's a place there called Mother's that I love going to. Oh, man. Shout out to Mother's, man. Love, love New Orleans. New Orleans right. is like my second home. Everybody knows. Sometimes I fly from Houston just to go have lunch with Mother's <laughs> to Mother's and then come back. Seriously, in the same day. It's that I can't day. blame you. I can't blame you, Dave. So what was it like, though, to film, you know, being next to the Superdome, you're in the hotel, which I understand you could actually see into the Superdome yep. or, or see the shot. Tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, what a what a what a thing for, you know, just the process of, of the, the folks that are working on this film. I mean, to really be staying in the in the hotel um, that this thing was like shooting and to have the backdrop of it be, um, you know, New Orleans, the great city of New Orleans, but, you know, this the Superdome. So every day I woke up, you know, I had to look at that Superdome and realize, you know, much like LaMarcus realized just sort of the stakes at hand, um, you know, with making this film. Um, and so, uh, you know, I think it's always a really, really cool thing when you could do something that's entertaining and important at the same time. Um, you know, it, it brings it just a different level of intensity and focus. Um, and purpose to, to the work, to the work day. And so, uh, you know, I was grateful for, you know, that being just a part of our, of our journey. Let's close with this fun question. What does Stefan James want for Christmas? You know what? I haven't gotten the pony I've wanted since I was five. So I think this is going to be the year. Hopefully this is going to be the year, Dave. I'm counting. Hey on. man, for you, it was a pony. For me, it was a wagon. I never got the little red wagon. Every kid on my block had one. I never had it. I'm older now. Mama, you're watching. She's actually listening to my right right now. She okay. Well, we need that wagon, mama. Mom, he's, he says, I, she said, okay, I got it on video. Hey, Listen, man, you. great job. Great work. Good to see you again, dude. And uh, you, let's man. let's meet at Mother's for lunch. I'm serious. Absolutely. I'll meet you there, man. I'll be there.